Hello my beautiful Margot, so a couple things to get out of the way first, one will apologize for two things, we're playing on iPad so the aspect ratio is going to be a little bit more square than you might be used to, and two, I will have to be looking down because the, the iPad's down here, so three, I want to thank Exosurus for sponsoring this video, please do understand that I only ever accept sponsorships for games that I absolutely believe in, and I'll try my best to have as unbiased of an opinion as possible, but sponsorship disclosure is something you should always be aware of. But yeah, anyway, here we are. We've actually been playing for a few days, honestly. I've been having a lot of fun with it. I actually made a first impressions a while ago. Of course, we have English now, you know, global launch and all that, so very nice, very exciting. I, I could actually learn about what, what I'm doing and all that. Um, the story has been very excellent so far. I don't want to actually say anything about it to, you know, spoil anything, but there's also a large part of it voice acted, not just like the beginning. <sighs> But as usual, I just want to start off with some gameplay, so that's what we're going to do. Before we start that, we can see some important information, you know, what kind of enemies are going to be there, their guardian stone info, which is important. And while you're going through the story, there are also missions you should try and take care of. In this case, it's stopped from being attacked. And this is the main thing to take care of, because the others are usually pretty simple, you know, survive, clear in 30 turns. So while we don't actually need to break anyone, we are going to take a fire guy with us so we can see that. Breaking is pretty nice anyway, because they take like twice as much damage while they're broken. And I still can't get over how good this game looks. Um, but yeah, they, they start off with question marks, you know, once you fight these guys for the first time, you can see their uh, stuff. But it said they're only guys with uh, fire guardian stones anyway, so... But it's kind of funny, you have to match their element instead of like being advantageous against it, you know, like ice versus fire. But yeah, pretty much a quick overview of the gameplay me mechanics. You attack with your basic to get a mana, and then you can use that mana to do your second and third skill. Second skill in her case takes one mana, third skill takes three. So typically when you start off a battle, you can only do basic attacks for a while until you uh, build up some mana, but then you can choose to keep saving for the third skill or just use a uh, second skill. That was a battle with only one wave, so we're going to do another one so we can see some of those ultimate skills. I, I think a lot of them look really nice. Also paying attention to the missions is important because you uh, get these stars on the map and you can get this currency, which is used, um, I, I would say mainly for summoning, but you can do other things with it like you know, expanding your storage. There is, of course, also a gear system. Uh, mostly what I'm doing right now is just auto-equipping them. So you can see this little icon down there when they have uh, gear you can give them. I just do auto-equip pretty much. So when that option is available, I always like it and just use it in the beginning. And then, you know, when I get later on and, and understand everything a little bit better, then yeah, I'm going to go in and you know, do it myself, really. But yeah, anyway, for this mission, we just have to break one time. We have Earth, Machine, Fire. So we gotta make sure we just have one of those. Okay, but this guy is green. So we're just gonna probably just try and kill the fire ones. Hope he's not fire. Oh, that would... Oh, no, this is only one wave. Okay, well then, yeah. We don't have a machine either. Yeah, I, I thought there would be at least one guy who has, like, only green, but apparently not. No problem, though, we're just going to put a machine in fire in there, it's all good. A little bit more about gameplay mechanics, down there on the bottom you can see the turn order, see which one of your guys are going next. For the heroes whose turn it is, you can see what their skills are doing. So most of the basics are just, you know, doing damage and not much else. His, 49 to 554 damage, and then, you know, of course, depending on which character they are, they're going to do different things with their second and third skill, and you can read up about that. Whoops. I think he's probably machine and green, yeah. Let's check out Valar's ult here. He is single target. He, he doesn't have much HP left, but, uh... <laughs> oh, he survived. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, he has a pretty decent ult. I mean, if the target dies, everyone gets two mana. It's pretty good. I mean, didn't really help there. So, yeah, besides general story mode and gameplay, which I have been mostly focusing on, uh, we also have challenge mode, which, to be totally honest, um... I don't know how a lot of it works yet. You can see we have like 12 out of three tickets here, so I haven't been doing it too much because uh, to get to the next floor, you, you needed to beat chapter four, which we just recently did, so to go to normal mode. So I was just kind of like waiting, but um, it seems like you keep your tickets from day to day, which is really cool also. But yeah, you can read their general descriptions here so you can get a variety of different uh, like specialized materials. Hero battle, yeah, we have like a specific hero here and they have a, mini story. I think I have tried this, but it was kind of weird because uh, I think she is immune to magical and the other guy is immune to physical, so it was a little bit hard since I didn't have that many heroes to choose from. I still don't really, but solar and lunar trade routes for equipment stuff to level up and reforge. But yeah, just lots of like specialized content for stuff and that's always nice. But yeah, I think we're going to go back to our airship. Also, you may have noticed we're not in a guild because no one wants to take us, or maybe I just don't know how that works either because I was applying to a lot and just like, I think one accepted me at one point and then I got kicked out like immediately. I don't know. 
Whatever, man. But yeah, let's check out my heroes real quick. We got Bernadette here. I got her from Selective Summons, which, you know, we will get into gotcha as well. But uh, just know that this game does have Selective Summons, which is amazing. You can reroll as many times as you want to and pick your favorite, like, 10 heroes, I believe it is. Uh, and that's really cool. Yeah, down on the bottom left, we have uh, her currently equipped gear. Again, I'm just hitting auto-equip after a little while when I have some new gear or whatever. You can do all the usual stuff with the equipment, of course. Uh, in, the, in this game, it's called Polish, which is basically leveling it up. Oh yeah, I've actually never been to this screen because I'm mostly just doing auto polish as well. But yeah, you can select the material you want to use. You can also use other equipment if you so desire. Then there's also reforging, which is basically increasing its star count. You need some certain materials depending on which piece of gear you're going for. And that will also increase its max level. But yeah, as far as the actual heroes are concerned, of course, you can level them up with these scrolls. There is also hero enhancement, which is like different from level up. But yeah, for this, you can either use these specialized uh, materials you can see here. The, this is like pretty much the only thing these guys are used for. Um, it's it's still a little bit complicated for me, but uh, basically, you can see here, either it's going to succeed or fail. So the first two failed, but then the next three were successes. So that means she is plus three now. And they go up to plus five. We're going to try and get her to plus five because then we can try blessing. Also, if you accidentally use too many, then uh, they will be returned to you as you might be able to see here. Oh no, we failed all but one success. That was unlucky. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna use some dupe heroes. We have a ton of him. Sure, why not? Oh wow, we only need one. Probably a waste, honestly, but she's at plus five now, and we can try blessing. I've actually never done this because I didn't have a max level hero at plus five. Now we do. Oh yeah, okay, so this is basically the same thing as gear reforging. You know, they get another star and their max level increases. Oh, we also get a new passive. Cleanses damage over time and debuff effects from allies and gain mana. We don't have the stuff to do it. We need... Serene's Fragments, Blessing Sanctum, and Exploration, we can get those. Wasn't it also in the door to creation though? Here is where you can uh, craft various things. Yeah, I think this is it, yeah. Oh no, we only needed three, but we made too many of the second smallest ones. Oh, we can do that straight from here. Okay, well then, oh man. We need two of the bigger ones to make one of the smaller ones. And then finally, Transcend, you need a duplicate of the hero, which will also increase their max level count. And yeah, it's pretty much hero mechanics. There's also Fate Core. Uh, I chose her as an example because that's the only Fate Core we have. It's actually a free one you get. Um, it's still a very nice... Uh, they're basically like outfits, but like powerful outfits, so they do things. You can also enhance these Fate Cores with these things, which we got a bunch out of summoning. To be totally honest, I'm a little bit confused about Fate Core still because... Well, we just haven't really gotten any, but also if you want 500 XS, I have no idea how to how to pronounce that, but but if you want them, I'll have a link in the description where you can enter the uh, server you're in, your airship name, and the actual code, HEROES. So to be totally honest, there are a ton of things to kind of go over, so I'm more inclined to make this just a simple sort of first impressions gameplay sort of video. There's also this pretty interesting tournament system, so like the top 16 players, and you can vote on who you think is going to win, and of course if your pick wins then you uh, earn some things, but even if they don't win you get like a participation prize. You can look at them more closely to see like their uh, combat power, which five characters they actually have with them. You can also watch the battle that happened between these two players. Uh, might be a pretty good like learning experience as well, you know, to see, to kind of get a good idea of the meta if you're into that. Damn. That was very one-sided. I don't think the other dude even got a chance to attack like at all. That was pretty messed up. <laughs> Oh man, that was a massacre. But yeah, I'd say we're gonna continue on with the story a bit more. There's of course also auto mode, in case you are confident in your team and don't have any special missions to do, like don't break anyone, then like auto really does, doesn't work in that case because you know, your dudes are going to try and break the dudes because of course that's what we should do. That is her second skill. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't do auto because I wanted to see that ultimate and using her second skill uses mana. Bernadette's ult is actually really nice because it's like really strong AoE. Transitions are pretty cool as well. Also, I, I generally like the art style. It uh, reminds me a bit of Arknights. Of course, not the gameplay. It's completely different, but um, like the character art style reminds me a bit of Arknights, which is nice. For this one, it seems you just have to clear it in a certain amount of turns. Which, um, yeah, that's just gonna depend on power pretty much, but I think we can do it. Oh wait, here we go. Here's her ultimate. She got mana. It's really, really nice. That's, <laughs> that's kind of like God Kiana's, honestly, from Honka Impact. This one we gotta clear in 30 turns. I'm not sure if we can do that without a little bit more strategy, honestly. I'm just trying to get Bernadette's ult, which we have now. I mean, maybe, you know, if we're lucky, she'll just kill everyone. <laughs> 
please just kill everyone. Uh, almost. This is some pretty nice damage. Four turns left. Maybe. She also has an AoE. It's not as strong, but they only have a little bit of HP left. I think we got it. But one of our guys did die, so we only get two stars anyway. But next time we do that, you know, we can just have a stronger party and not have to take care of the turns. Also here on the map, there are little things you can interact with as well. Uh, this is a battle, for example. Little treasure goblin. It's actually like a mouse, but whatever. And everyone's only doing one damage. Ooh, a two critical. <laughs> and uh, he is dodging a lot as well. I'm not sure if he's going to run away. He might run away if we can't kill him quickly enough. Maybe once he has full mana. No! No! Come back! Wait, can we just run after him and try again? He's dodging too much though. He ran away even quicker that time. So taking a look at their stat page, you can see all characters have a hit stat and a dodge stat. So probably, yeah, heroes like him would be better. You know, higher... He seems to have a pretty high dodge rate, so... Finding the heroes with the highest hit rates for that guy would be best, I can imagine. Apparently I'm just gonna have to remember because I don't think you can see the detailed stats here. Double Rifle Dude also has one tin hit. All right, let's try that again. Come here, dude. Let's see if our strategy worked out. Yeah, we still got a dodge there, but also some criticals. He's going down way faster than he was before though, so, so less dodging for sure. I can't tell if this is just luck or because we are actually Galaxy Brain and actually made a strategy for him. <laughs> Oh man, it's gonna get it's it's gonna be pretty close though. He's already at three mana. Ooh, no, I think that was it. Slow mo, nice. We did it. Boom, got a golden clock. There are also lots of other little things on the map. Ah, that's a big dude. It's actually like a barrel monster. Um, ancient totem. We can call it that too. Lots of rewards if you destroy ancient totems. This is the first one I'm trying here. Oh yeah, it costs eighty of those exploration stones. Uh, levy stones they're actually called. I don't know if there's gonna be any special mechanics here like there was with the other dude, but we'll see. Damn, it's huge. We are doing normal. Oh, magical damage immunity. I was not prepared for that. It's not doing very much damage to us either, I guess, but uh, yeah, we're doing pretty much nothing to it. I'm not sure if it's still magic immune because I thought I just saw a magical user. Yeah, and she is also magical and doing damage. Well, after just over 100 turns, he is almost down. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say there's probably a strategy that doesn't take 100 plus turns, but um, who cares? We did it, man. Ooh, look at all that stuff. I don't know if it's impressive. We got a green gear here, though. But yeah, I think what we're gonna do now is wrap this up with a couple of gotcha and also talk about gacha a little bit because, again, there is something very special, something I very much like about this game's gacha. When you first start, you have this selective summon. Uh, I talked about this a little bit earlier in the video, but you can do as many tin pulls as you want. This is how we actually got Bernadette. And besides that, we've been mainly summoning on this, the uh, Fate Court Chance Increase. And it seems like once you do 28 multis, you will get Zeon here. I don't know if we'll make that since it only goes for one day and 11 hours anymore. On one hand, I kind of want to try this, but I think I understand how it works. Once you summon everyone, then you're like guaranteed these three up here, but there's a chance to get these three up here earlier. It's just they have a 0.2% chance of being one of the heroes. So uh, more than likely, you're going to have to summon most of these lower grade ones first before you actually have a real chance of getting, you know, these top ones. Could get lucky, but, but yeah, it's honestly really cool. You can basically just choose here. Uh, there will be new ones coming in 22 days, it looks like. But ultimately, I kind of want to just stick on this one so we can get Zeon here. I'm not really sure if that's the right way to go about it, honestly, but uh, here's a summoning animation anyway. It's pretty long, honestly. Uh, most of the time, I'm skipping this first one because then there's a second part where the heroes actually reveal themselves and there's still that anticipation there anyway. Uh, yeah, it kind of starts like with this and then, you know, if there's some really shiny stuff, you get a five star. There wasn't any, though. In fact, we might just be looking at the two stars and such, so we're going to go ahead and hit the skip button, and again, it shows us, and this is like unskippable anyway. So there's definitely the chance for some anticipation. There we go! What is it? Oh, snap! It's another Bernadette, which I'm fine with because we need duplicates of her. Holy hell, damn. I mean, I only have three total five stars. And uh, so, so getting a duplicate this early, I don't know if that's actually the best, but uh, hey dude, I'll take it dude. What do we got? And I think besides that, there's just gonna be four stars, which you know, I think there are some good four stars, but 
you know, five stars are obviously the most interesting. Anything? Nope. How about now? Come on. Oh! Dude, what is that? I've never seen that before. Who is that dude? Is that a fate core? What the hell is going on here? I think that... That... What is it? I've never seen that animation before. Holy hell. Dude, and what is this guy? <laughs> oh my god. Dude, that's insane. Hold on a second. I have to go check out what the hell I just got. I think it may have been a fate core because I've never seen that. Yeah, dude, that's a fate core. Sick. All right, I'm happy about that, man. I was gonna say my luck hasn't been that good, honestly, with the uh, gotcha, but I changed my mind. It's actually awesome. <laughs> Let's try that again. I don't even know if it's a good one, honestly, but hey, it's my first fake core. I'm happy about it. Mm, nothing that time, it seems, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Can't can't be complaining already, you know. And we got Bong Koos. Well, getting at least another four star. Boom. And another one. Come on, shine for me. Nope. Yeah, but I mean three, four stars. It's all right. Also, for every 10 multis you do, you get a guaranteed five star, which is cool. Also, what you got? Oh, another one, dude. What the hell is this? She's cute. That must be another fade core because of that animation. I'm still, uh, 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 obviously again, oh god, 3.9. I mean, I probably shouldn't take the ratings super seriously, honestly. I've read some of those reviews and, um, yeah, pretty much no one's serious and it seems like the rating system is pretty useless. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I don't care, man. Fake core. I'll take it. And another Bonkus. He likes us, huh? Let's keep going. Come on. Narrow. I got my hand over mouth ready. Come on. Okay, we got two more summons we can do. This one and one more. What you got for me? Another narrow. That's always been a thing with me. Like, like I'm always getting duplicates, like one after the other. <laughs> Scarlet, well, I mean, I like her design. See, I'm sure she's not even that good of a character, but she has 4.7 because, yeah, yeah. and, ooh, there we go. Not a fate core, but a five star. I think I have him also, and I don't think he's that good. Whatever, man. <laughs> Still a five star. I can't really complain, I guess. And final summon. What have you got for me? Come on. Come on. Yeah, nothing super special there, but we also, for every multi, we get a free... I believe that is a rare to faded hero card. And in two more multis, we also get a guaranteed five star, so... I'm sure we can manage that. Let's get all these, see if we got anything good. Mm, no five stars, but okay. It's fine. But yeah, I think that'll pretty much do it. Not too much else to say, honestly. Just a really nice game. Graphics are beautiful. I love the character design. The gameplay mechanics are really cool. The story is nice. Just a lot of things to like about it, honestly. So once again, those links will be in the description down below, along with uh, several other links, I believe, for the in-game currency, along with some other resources as well. So make sure to check the description. Dropping a like on this video if you did, I'm doing joy. It's always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching. And until next time.